you think that I am like Leonardo da Vinci? <laughs> or, or Rembrandt, if you prefer, or, or Monet, if you like the Impressionists. And that's a good thing, right? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a very good thing. They're three of my favorites. You don't hate me, Stuart? Marion, no, how could I hate you? I, I like you too much. How much? As much as the, as, as the sky, as much as the universe. I, <laughs> I thought you, I thought you didn't like me. Why? I don't know. Oh, Stuart. I like you even better than martinis or designer clothes or chocolate-covered truffles or emeralds. The, the night of the party. Oh, let's please not talk about no, that. No, no, it's a good thing. You, you were like the prettiest flower in the whole garden. You, you were like the queen bee, and all the other bees were buzzing around you. And you were the only king. There is no king bee. There's only a queen. <laughs> well, Mother Nature must have made a great big fat mistake because <laughs> every queen has to have a king. And I can't think of anybody more regal than you. doing lately picking up string even if it's on the sidewalk i mean people must have thought it was crazy you know this just reminded me of that day in the gatehouse when you put up the string so i could find you i still have that ball of string you do yeah i tried to throw it away a couple of times but i just couldn't let go of the memories Stuart, that's so sweet you know what i did I went to the botanical gardens all by myself. Oh. And I pretended that you were there with me, and and uh, you were telling me all about the flowers, and uh, then I wished that. Uh... Oh, well. What? What? No, it's... no. Tell me what. Well, what I you... just wished, kind of, that when I came around a corner, you'd be standing there, and and or you'd pop out behind a rhododendron bush or a topiary swan, or. No, that's what you remind me of. What? A topiary? <laughs> 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 no, a swan. Oh, a swan. You have such a beautiful, graceful neck. It's so soft. It's like velvet. <laughs> What's what? There's something sharp and pointy in your pocket. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's this. Oh. What are you carrying around a shark's tooth for? <laughs> well, I was, I was, uh, I was going to ask you if you thought it might belong to your friend, John. Well, I could have dropped off his necklace. I really hate to break the mood, Um I want you to tell me everything you know about this man. Hi. So what's next? Well, if your temperature cycle mirrors last month's, we'll see you back here same time tomorrow. Okay, fantastic. Your donor sperm's already been frozen, so... 
we'll be all set. Okay. Do you have any other questions? No, no, thank you. Well, then if you'll excuse me. Sure. He's here. The receptionist is sending him down to meet us. I didn't even know that a clinic was for sale. Neither did I. The whole thing's been so hush-hush. Oh. Come on. Ah, good, good evening, ladies. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Adam Chandler. I'm the new owner of this clinic. Stuart? Are you jealous of John? Oh, well, I was kind of at first, but now the stakes are much higher. Well, you know, we were never romantically involved. Uh, so, you know, I must admit that I really did try to make you jealous. No. But if you'd like, I'll never see him again. Oh, no, no, I want you to. I want you to. You do? Well, I don't mean I don't want you to go out with him. I just want you to, to introduce us. But if things are okay with us again, so to speak, well, no, no, not, not because he's a rival, but because... Marion, he may be a bad person, he, a criminal. John? Yeah. No. no. Seriously. I found one of these up at the cabin outside, right by the generator, where Scott almost got electrocuted, and then I found one at Holidays, too. But John worked at Holidays. Well, I know, but it's kind of a pretty big coincidence. Don't you think? He, he could be into some bad stuff, Marion. Well, I can't be that bad a judge of character. I mean, can I? I, I think that... I would have known if he was a... I just want to find out, that's all. Dad says a good detective always covers all the bases. Well, okay, fine. What do you want me to do? I just want you to, to bring him here tonight and introduce us like you were going to do anyway. Could you do that? I'll try, sure. Okay. But we'll have to be very, very careful. He could be dangerous. Okay? Oh, by the way, What's his last name? Oh, Stuart. I can't remember his last name. Huh. It's short. One syllable. Oh, darn. It's gonna come to me any minute. Well, I'll, I'll ask him tonight. Okay, right. Good idea. I'm gonna go over to Wild Wind. I think Mateo would like to be here tonight. Come with me. Oh, no, no. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to make some calls, see if I can locate John. Anyway, um, I like being around your things, if you don't <laughs> mind. No, I don't mind. Well, I'll be back in two shakes of lamb's tail. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen one. Why'd you go so pale? Well, you startled me. I, I didn't expect to see you. I, I'm, as a matter of fact, I was about to call you to say you were going to come by here for dinner this evening. Well, yeah, I thought I was supposed to. I thought you wanted me to meet your friend Stuart. Yes, I do. And I was just going to call you and say, come by for dinner tonight. <laughs> wow. This is some wild coincidence, isn't it? Because you wanted me to meet this fella, and I was in the neighborhood, so I just thought I'd drop in. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. I hope I haven't spoiled anything. Oh, no, no. 
No, not at all. Good. Good, because I'd hate to put a pretty lady in an awkward situation. Well, you haven't. I mean, you, you, you definitely haven't. Good. So, where's your friend? Stuart. Oh, oh, he, he just stepped out. Oh. Then we're alone. No. Uh, no I, I mean, uh, Stuart will be back any minute. Isn't that nice? Well, then we'll have us some fun, won't we? Oh. <laughs> Well, I'd like to see the uh, rest of the clinic, the um, offices and labs, the behind-the-scenes areas. Oh, Roddy, I think you'll be pleased with what you see, Mr. Chandler. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. I, but I'd like to do, do it on a rather informal basis. Um, sure. Miss, Miss Huntley, mm -hmm. is that it? Charming. Um, I wouldn't want the patients thinking we're changing procedures midstream. So <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Why don't we start off this way? All right, you lead. Sorry, oh. I left my sunglasses here. Oh, I do that. You <laughs> do that all the time. You're welcome to look. Oh, thanks. Um, I'd help you, but I have to go meet the new owner. Oh, all right. Well, no, please. I'll just see if I can find her. Terrific. Okay. <sighs> oh. Okay. Ellie. Hi, Liza. What are you doing here? Well, I came to talk to you. <laughs> well, this really isn't the place. Please, I insist. I decline. You don't have a choice. So, what'd you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. Bye-bye. 